Welcome back to Puff It Louder. Um, we're gonna see if they can actually do the Cinderella thing, I guess. Huh? I don't know. I have no experience at all. But I'll do it. I shall do my best. Everyone has been so nice to me. I want to return a little of that favor. Besides, I'm not alone. Cat is with me. I'm sure we can do it. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you will do well. The day that was supposed to be quiet turns out to be the day where my heart beats the loudest. Oh, she's in love. Oh, wait, no. Or excitement. Whatever. The wonderful excitement of what's to come. I'm looking forward to it. Now more than ever. Oh, look at that, Clenna. You're, you're just improving so much. Like... <sighs> That would be really cute if their hands just like got closer and closer in that picture. Once upon a time. Anyway. Whoa. There was a girl named Cinderella who grew up ill-treated by her evil stepmother and two evil stepsisters. One day, the king, with the advice of the Grand Duke, decided to throw a ball, a grand ball for the Prince Charming to find his bride. Cinderella wanted to go, but her two evil stepsisters sabotaged her plan by destroying her only dress. That was a pretty bitchy move. I remember as a child, I was like, <gasps> How could they? <laughs> anyway, just when she was about to give up, her fairy godmother appeared and granted her wish to attend the ball. I wonder who's going to play these parts. Because they're all guys. Except for the mom, obviously. Her clothing turned into a beautiful gown with glass slippers and the garden pumpkin into a carriage complete with two mice and a horse. Before leaving, the fairy godmother warned her to leave the ball before midnight as the magic could only last until then. At the ball... Prince Charming declined every girl until he saw Cinderella. The two instantly fell in love and danced long into the night. Do you guys believe in love at first sight? Because I feel like that's like so like, it's like, oh, you're so attractive. Oh, you're also really attractive. But like, what if they're like douches on the inside? Like, I don't know. However, as the clock struck midnight, Cinderella ran away, leaving behind one of her glass slippers, which became the only clue to find her. Under the advice of the Grand Duke, Prince Charming had every maiden in the kingdom try on this slipper to see if it would fit. So, I think she must have had really small feet, or like, or like abnormally small feet, or abnormally large feet in order for this to work. Because, like, for me, I'm like an average size from women's shoes. I think it's like eight and a half or whatever. Um, so there's probably like a bunch of people in the same town as me who have the same shoe size. The two evil stepsisters could not fit the slipper. Alas, Cinderella could, and thus Prince Charming married her and the two lived happily ever after. Such a beautiful story! Have you never read Cinderella before? Really? It's just a fairy tale. But it's so dreamy and magical. I can't wait to perform! I don't get it. This is your first performance. How can you be so excited? Where does your confidence come from? Confidence? I have none. Then why? Well... My parents passed away when I was young. That's- oh, backstory time. Life is short, that's why you have to live your life to the fullest. I don't want to miss out on any opportunities that come in my way. That's what I believe. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to- Don't worry. I'm currently living my life to the fullest. I'm really blessed. Speaking of which, I've been here for a while, but I've never seen your father. Don't tell me he- Oh, don't worry. He's still alive and kicking. Then why isn't he here? Don't tell me he- It's not what you think. Don't worry about it. Huh? Is this another one of those things I shouldn't have asked? Yikes. Whew. I guess it's time to... Work and hard? Ugh. I've seen too much of you the last episode. Mr. Snail! How are you doing? Chillin'. I made a bet with Din when we played Mahjong yesterday and he lost. But Mahjong? <laughs> now he has to do errands instead of me. That's why I'm so free right now. Don't sweat it. That nerd needs to get out of his room every now and then. Besides, we've got the Thanksgiving dinner tonight. Right, it's November, hello. Oh, that's right. It's almost the end of November. Okay, she just said the same thing as me. <laughs> It feels like we just had the Halloween party yesterday. The kitchen murder, red blood soup. It was quite the party, huh? Oh, he. Oh. Is he embarrassed? <laughs> Mr. Snail has always given me the impression of a tough and sensible dude. It's nice to see this unexpected side of him. Because it was totally his fucking fault that you guys didn't eat. Naveed probably wants to kill him. Alrighty. 
time to get cracking. All right, here we go. Let's see where. Oh, let's just. No, okay, I'm just never going to the girls' room. You can go shopping, use in the area, talk to sheep, talk to elephant, talk to mom, talk to cat. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna talk to cat because this is our main objective, I guess. Prince Charming, huh? <sighs> Working hard or worrying incessantly as usual? Brother, I just don't understand. Why do they give this role to me? I'm anything but charming. You don't usually care for anything, I say, but does it really matter? The point of acting is to become someone you ain't. When you're on stage, you can be anything you want. When you on stage. <laughs> when you're on stage. <laughs> I think it's a good experience. I think it's good to experience that at least once. But, but just relax, yeah? Clan is with you. Do your best for her sake, too. That's right. I'm right behind you, Mr. Cat. Oh, that's nice. Alright, let's go talk to Elephant because I love Elephant. What's wrong, Mr. Elephant? You don't look good. Oh, this is terrible. Very terrible, my lady. What is? I am. You're. Oh. I might not be able to survive this. Brace yourself, Mr. Elephant. We'll be having the Thanksgiving dinner soon. I shall try my best, my lady. Rip. When he's so hungry that he basically... Sheep. Phew. Oh, what a nice smell. Is that... S is this turkey? Mm -hmm. Turkey's the standard course... The standard main course for every Thanksgiving dinner. Damn, I can't read. I can't wait! I can't read, she can't wait. <laughs> I really love your cooking. Thank you. If only I didn't have this bad feeling encompassing me. You know, like something terrible is about to happen. Something terrible? I hope it's just my imagination. Yikes, something terrible is gonna happen? Um, I could talk to mom, or I could go shopping. Let's talk to mom. Oh, my dear daughter-in-law, you came at just the right time. I just received this in the mail. Oh, Is this from the Halloween party? Yes. Once I get a nice photo frame, I'll be hanging this on the wall. Huh? Was it this shiny when we took it? I add special effects to every photo I've taken. Lovely, isn't it? I, I guess. Photos are wonderful, aren't they? They preserve the moments we live. Mm hmm Yikes. Alright, I mean, let's just, I guess, we can either talk to Monkey or we can go shopping. Let's go shopping. Huh? Isn't that? Oh. <laughs> like I said, I need materials for glass slippers. We only sell food here, buddy. You can at least direct me to the correct store. I only know how to cook, buddy. You! Din, what are you doing here? Huh? Oh, it's you, buddy. I'm in the middle of running errands, buddy. You know, the ones we need for the performance, buddy. Oh, that's right. Mr. Snail said you lost at Mahjong yesterday. Is that why you... Don't remind me, bunny! I won't lose next time, Bunny! For all the trauma he caused me, I'm gonna make him pay double! Yikes. Well, that's the end of free time. Get me out. <laughs> Just when all of us are expecting another party. Uh... What? What do you mean there's no turkey? What kind of Thanksgiving dinner is this? But Mr. Sheep was making one earlier. Don't look at me. It's already inside a certain person's stomach. My apologies, everyone. To think I've let my hunger consume me. <laughs> Get it? Because it's hunger and consume. Alright, whatever. I am ashamed of myself. So, I was right. Something terrible did happen. 
Right. Mr. Elephant was terribly hungry. So instead of turkey, we go cold turkey! Not funny, Dan. It's yet another party without dinner. I am grateful. This must have been the after effect from missing the Halloween party's dinner. Dude, that was like a month ago. There's still plenty of time, yeah? Let's get another one from the market. Great idea. I'll go. It's already so late. It's dangerous to go alone. Don't worry, I'll be fine. But if you're that worried, you might as well accompany her, Cad. H huh? But I I'm not in my human form. Clenna, go ahead and make him transform. Alrighty! W wait Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Well, that worked out. Sorry, I had to do that. It's fine. It's not like we could disobey Big Brother. Um, why are you holding my hand? It's dangerous at night. It's not because I'm scared or anything. Oh, he's so such a scaredy cat. Oh, get it. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> ain't that cared? Oh God. What's up, man? Broccoli man. Whoo. Good evening, master. Master? Master's master. People with afros are the true master. Right, because you do disco like a weirdo. Don't you think so? I, I guess. So, what you doing here at night? Dighton? Wh what are you talking about? I'm here to protect Clenna. Protect her? You sure ain't the other way around? You look more like the dude in distress. <laughs> I get it. Good evening, Mr. Broccoli. We came to get some turkey. Oh, you're in luck. We still have some left. On oh, no, Thanksgiving, um, turkey must be bad. I don't know. Thank you, Mr. Broccoli. Have fun with your date. It's not a date. Uh, it's totally a date. Just FYI. <laughs> I mean, except for the fact that he's scared instead. Thank you for accompanying me, Clad. Ca Clad. <laughs> Cad, I'm mixing his name and Clad's name. Um, you can let go of my hand now. Clenna, I've been thinking all day. Brother's right. I'm not doing this alone. You're with me. Your presence has always encouraged me. Honestly, I'm still afraid of many things, and I just don't have confidence in myself. Even so, I don't want to disappoint you. This performance, I'll do my best too. Cat. That's why I wanted to thank you. It's because of you that I can finally move forward. No, I should be the one to say that. It's because of you that I can experience many things in life. I'm really grateful. No, I'm more thankful. Do you know how much you've helped me ever since you came? No, I'm more thankful. Do you know how great it is to have a place to call home? Um, why are we fighting over who's more thankful? Well, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Actually, that is pretty funny. I mean, like, get it? Get it? Thanksgiving, they're like screaming at each other, whatever. That's right. It's this side of him that I can't help but adore. That was a very cute moment. The tiny courage that can move your heart. See? Those two are getting along just fine. I think this whole performance thing is redundant. <laughs> Don't let Din hear that. Dude, he always comes up with useless ideas. Necessary or not, I think it's fun, yeah? I'm looking forward to seeing those two on stage. Oh man. Oh man. So, has the cast been decided? Yeah! It took me a while, but I'm finally done! Let's see. Clenna is Cinderella. Cat is Prince Charming. Dai and Din as two evil stepsisters. Kid and Naveed as the King and the Grand Duke. And we're gonna find out who the last person is, or whoever, like, oh, yeah, where's Mr. Pig? What? We haven't seen him in a while. Anyway, we're gonna find out the rest of the cast in the next episode. I'll see you guys later. Bye.